Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help out our channel and it also really helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be covering in today's video is that we are going to be going over geometry, specifically triangle geometry. And we are going to be finding missing angles in and around triangles. So this will be our first part in this series. So we're going to have three angles that we're going to find for three different triangles. And we are tasked with determining the unknown angle X for each of those. So starting with our first one here, we have 54 degrees, 86 degrees, and an unknown degree of X here for this angle right here in the bottom right. So for triangles, all the internal angles for a triangle must add up to be 180 degrees. So what this means is that 180 degrees will have to be the 54 plus the 86 and then plus our missing angle of X. So we can just rearrange and we can solve for X here, which our X is just going to be 180 degrees minus off 54 degrees, minus off 86 degrees. And this gives us a total missing angle of 40 degrees for that X. So just keep in mind that a triangle will always have 180 degrees total inside of it. Any three-sided shape will always have 180 degrees. So that's our first one. And as we go along here with uh, more parts in this series, it'll be um, the problems and examples will be a little bit harder each and each time as we continue. So moving on here, we have a triangle and we have an extension of this line down here. And we are tasked with finding this angle, this exterior angle of this triangle. Inter interior angle would be on the inside, external angles are on the outside of the shape. So once again, what we're gonna have to do is we are going to have to determine this angle shown in blue for the inside of the triangle. And then we can get our unknown angle on the outside, knowing that this is a straight line between these two angles. So let's first get our blue one here inside. Well, once again, we are going to have a total of 180 degrees is going to be um, the total of all the internal angles for the triangle added together. So we will have 35 degrees plus the 75 degrees plus, let's just call this Y plus our angle of Y. Well, our Y angle will be 180 degrees minus off 35 degrees, minus off 75 degrees. And that gives us a total angle of 70 degrees on the inside there. But that's not the answer. We need the angle of X. Well, we have a straight line that connects here. So whenever you have a straight line and another line intersecting that line, you're gonna get two angles one on the left, one on the right. These two angles will add up to be 180 degrees because just like with a triangle, a straight line has 180 degrees to it. So what this means is that 180 degrees is going to be equal to my Y angle plus my X angle. Well, the Y angle is 70 degrees, so plug that in there and then just rearrange for X. Well, my X is going to be 180 degrees minus off 70 degrees and that gives me 110 degrees as my answer for my X. You may also notice that whenever you have something like this going on, that external angle will just be the addition of the two opposite internal angles inside the triangle. That is another theorem that you could use to solve this answer, or you can do it this way. Either way is perfectly fine. All right, so let's move on to our last triangle. And once again, we are solving for angle X. This angle is external. And the only thing that we have are two other external angles with a 90 degree up here and 120 degrees down here. So in order to get to X, we have to determine some internal angles here for our triangle, pretty much all three of them if you want to do it. So we have a straight line right here from the 120. So we can get this internal angle utilizing the 120. We have a straight line right here that connects the 90 with this internal angle right here. And then lastly, we can get our internal angle over here. <clears throat> so that we can get our Y or get our X. So we're going to call this one Y and let's just call this one, let's call this angle F and let's just call this angle B up here, just changing up the variables. You can call them whatever you want to call them as long as you're consistent throughout your problem. So let's get angle F. 
Well, angle F is going to be, because it is a straight line with the 120, it'll just be 180 degrees for a straight line, minus off the 120 degrees, or it's 180 degrees for a straight line, minus off 120 for our angle, and that gives us 60 degrees. So angle F is 60 degrees. And then let's just repeat that for angle B. Angle B is a little bit easier because it is a right angle. So we have 180 degrees minus 90 degrees gives us 90 degrees. And then let's get angle Y. Well, angle Y will just be 180 degrees minus off the internal angles of 60 degrees minus off 90 degrees. And that gives us a total of 30 degrees for angle Y. And then finally, to get my X answer, because it is a straight line with angle Y, we can just use straight line angle of 180 degrees minus off the 30 degrees, which gives us a total of 150 degrees there. So just keep in mind that a straight line has 180 degrees and every triangle's internal angle also has a total of 180 degrees. So don't get confused between the straight line and the triangle. Um, bouncing back between what kind of theorem you're using, a straight line will always have 180 degrees and then a triangle internally. All those angles will add up to be 180 degrees. So we have worked those three triangles and we have found the missing angle for each one. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out other videos on our channel as we're trying to upload daily. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day.